Welcome back to the class on electrical vehicles and hybrid electrical vehicles. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the hybrid electrical vehicles and its architecture. See, initially we are going to see why should we go for the hybrid electric vehicles. We know the vehicle which is based upon the internal combustion. It has a advantages, good performance and long speed range because the petrol has a high power density. But it has a some disadvantages. One is the poor fuel economy. Poor fuel economy is occurs only due to the following reasons. Engine fuel efficiency characteristics are not matching with the characteristics of a vehicle. Next one more important point is the we can't apply the regenerative braking for the IC engine based vehicle because during the braking whatever the energy is given by the vehicle that we cannot store in the IC. So because of these two parameters the efficiency of the IC engine based vehicle will be very low. It does not give the good fuel economy. So one more important disadvantage of the IC engine based vehicle is the it gives the too much of air pollution. Suppose if you go for the battery driven vehicles, the battery driven vehicle has a high energy efficiency, zero emission, nothing but a zero pollution, but the operating range speed of a battery driven vehicle is not at all compared with a IC engine based vehicle. Moreover, IC engine based vehicles are have a very good pickup when compared to the battery driven vehicle. Now we are going for the hybrid vehicles because we are going to combine the internal combustion engine as well as the battery so that we are going to get the advantage of the internal combustion engine. The disadvantages are there in an internal combustion engine that we are overcome by means of a battery drive source. That is the reason that we are going for the hybrid vehicle. The hybrid vehicle is a one which has a two sources. One is the primary source. Another one is the secondary source. Generally, the primary source we are taking as IC engine. The secondary source we are taking as a EV, nothing but a electrical based vehicle. That is a battery which is giving a power to the motor, where the motor is giving a power to the transmission system. The transmission system will be driving the frontal two wheels of a vehicle. So, to reduce the complexity in hybrid driven vehicles, generally we are not taking more than the two sources. Suppose if you are going for the high sources in hybrid vehicle. Driver vehicles means the complexity of the system will be increased. The controlling of the vehicle will be very difficult. There are mainly available patterns of combining the power flow to meet the load demand in hybrid vehicles. Are the. Here, this is one power train, this is another power train, nothing but this is IC engine, this is converter, this is the battery, this is the converter. Both are giving a power to the load. But load is nothing but a vehicle. Are different patterns we can get the power to the load means the first pattern. Power train 1 is only supplying a power to the load. This is the situation where it occurs means suppose if there is no charge in a battery. By the time we are not able to get any power from the battery side. So by the time the IC engine only giving a power to the vehicle. The second one is the power is supplied to the load only due to the power train 2 nothing but battery. This is also possible because of the some fault the, if the IC engine is not giving any power means by the time you can extract the power from the battery source to run the vehicle. Third mode, both IC engine and battery is giving a power to the load. Suppose the peak demands when the vehicle is going upward direction, by the time the load requires a more amount of power, by the time you can take the power from the IC engine as well as the battery also. Fourth mode, power train to obtain a power from the load. Suppose if you use only the power train 1 where it is consisting IC engine, the regenerative braking is occurred, that power we cannot give to the IC engine. Nothing but load is giving a power back to the source. But in this hybrid vehicle, here the battery is there. During the regenerative braking, the load is giving a power back to the source that we can store in a energy. That is coming under the fourth mode of operation. In the fifth mode, Power train to obtain power from the power train 1. Suppose in this case the vehicle is stationary. So vehicle does not require any power. But the battery don't have any charge. So by that time by means of IC engine you can charge the battery in this manner. The sixth mode of operation power train to obtain a power from the power train 1 and also giving a power to the load. Suppose if the vehicle is going in a normal road. By that time, load does not require that much of power. The same time, there is no charge is available to the battery also. So, by that time, what happened means, 
what are the mechanical power is required by the load that will be given by the IC engine not only that this IC engine is giving a power to the battery to charge it. In eighth mode powertrain 1 delivers a power to the powertrain 2 and powertrain 2 delivers a power to the load. This is also happened. When the vehicle is going in a city area by that time we don't want any emission. So we have to operate the vehicle with only battery. But by means of IC engine we are storing the battery but the vehicle will be driven by the battery driver vehicle so that we can avoid the emission pollution to the atmosphere. The last one is the powertrain 1 delivers a power to the load and load delivers a power to the powertrain 2. The powertrain this source is giving a power to the load whereas the load is giving a power to the source. This is very typical operation. How the load is giving a power back to the source means that is due to the mass of a vehicle. That power will be stored in a battery. But whatever the mechanical power is required by the vehicle that will be taken from the IC. So in this manner there are different modes of operation of a hybrid vehicles are available depending upon the our requirement for the fuel consumption or reducing the emissions based upon that we have to select a particular mode to drive the vehicle. So it requires a very complex control circuit is required depending upon the power demand of the load. If you observe this three graphs means this is the graph on the x axis you have taken the time this is load power. When the vehicle is going on the road we can't estimate how much power is taken by the vehicle because it is going very slowly sometimes it is going very rapidly sometimes it is going climbing the road sometimes it is going downwards the road nothing but a when the vehicle is going on the road the power load power demand will be different that will be changing with respect to the time so this is the load power demand black one sometimes the vehicle also will be giving a power to the source that's why here in this region we can find a negative power which is representing the region rate to break so for this profile of the load power if you find the average value this is average value of the power generally the average value of the power will be meet by the ic engine based source the ripple power or dynamic power is there this is the dynamic power the average value of the dynamic power becomes a zero so some duration the positive power is there some duration negative power is there the sum of these two powers becomes a load power so this dynamic power will be meet by the battery so that it gives the very good efficiency to the hybrid way now what are the different architectures of a hybrid vehicle. The first one is the series hybrid vehicle. In case of series hybrid vehicle, we have a two sources. One is IC engine, other one is the battery. So both are connected in series and giving a proportion power to the vehicle. This is the fuel tank, this is the IC engine, this is generator. Again, this is power converter, this is battery, this is motor. This motor only giving a power to the vehicle. But how this motor is getting a power means by means of this converter. This converter is getting a power from the two sources, one is battery, another one is the generator, whereas the generator will be getting a mechanical input from the IC engine. This IC engine will be driven by the fuel tank. This type of configuration is nothing but a series hybrid vehicle, parallel hybrid vehicle. In case of parallel hybrid vehicle, two sources are connected parallel to give the proportion power to the Vehicle. This is a fuel tank, this is an IC engine, this is directly connected to the transmission system which is giving a proportional power to the vehicle. The same manner here the battery is there, this is the power converter, this is the electric motor, it is directly connected to the transmission system which is giving a power to the proportional power to the vehicle. So depending upon our requirement, the vehicle will be selecting a source to get the mechanical power. Suppose if the vehicle is going in a poor direction, then the power will be taken from the IC engine. Suppose if it is going normal road, then the power will be taken from the battery driver vehicle, where it does not request that much of power. Suppose if the vehicle is going very up area, by that time the vehicle requires high amount of power, so the vehicle will be taking a power from the both IC engine as well as the battery parallelly. This type of configuration is nothing but a parallel hybrid vehicle. Third one is the series parallel hybrid vehicle. So here this is a fuel tank, this is the IC engine, this is a generator, this is a power converter, this is a motor, this is a battery. This fuel tank and IC engine is giving a mechanical output that we are connected directly as like in a parallel connection. Moreover, we can get the series connection also if we remove this one. Then IC engine is connected to the generator, this generator and battery is connected to the power converter, 
the power converter will giving a power to the motor now the motor only giving in a mechanical power to the vehicle so this configuration is nothing but a series parallel com configuration in this configuration we can operate as a series hybrid vehicle or parallel hybrid vehicle both we can get it next one is a complex hybrid vehicle in case of complex hybrid vehicle see here this is fuel tank this is ic engine which is connected to the generator this is connected to converter this is battery this is motor it is like a series hybrid vehicle but here one more motor is there that is also giving a mechanical input to the generator in case of series hybrid vehicle the generator is getting the mechanical input only from the ic engine but in this case this motor also will be giving in mechanical input to the generator this is a complex hybrid vehicle but this configuration is very complicated it requires a two motors and control circuit also will be the very complex generally we are going for series hybrid vehicle or parallel hybrid vehicle or series and parallel hybrid vehicle thank you very much if you have any doubt you can ask me directly or you can ask in the comment box of my youtube channel so that i am always welcome to answer all your questions